What's up, YouTube? We have a, uh, boy, I don't even know. It's the whole week, though. I didn't do a video on Wednesday. It's a uh, February 13th through February 18th edition of Motown Mail. Quite a bit of stuff, I guess. Uh, I have nothing coming in at all. I don't know the last time that's happened. I have nothing coming in. Um, so it might just be a one video week uh, next week as well. Um, I don't know. Let's start off with uh, eBay pickups. First off, I got this for cheap. I guess it was given out at like the Pro Bowl, or not the Pro Bowl, the Super Bowl or something at the, um, I don't know, but it's an exclusive card. Michael Turner, all around toughness. I don't know. I got it cheap. Figured I might not see it again, so I picked it up. Um, got this nice blue um, Bowman rookie auto of Aaron Kurtz, who was a, um, I think he was like a fourth round pick for the Cubs, I believe. Uh, this one's numbered at 199. Nice looking auto. It's a sticker. I thought it was on card when I bought it, but it's a sticker. Uh, this guy could have won MVP last year, maybe he should have. Um, Matt Kemp, uh, first Matt Kemp autograph I have. This is from uh, UD Signature Stars. It's not numbered, but you know it's pretty clean looking sticker auto, but clean design nonetheless. Got this really nice jumbo patch, three color of Michael Turner from this year's brand new plates and patches, Team Supreme. It's numbered four of fifty. Beautiful looking card right there. Nice big patch. And that one is numbered 4 of 50. Next one, I got this for 12 bucks. I figure if, if Timmy Tebow um, goes to a different position next year and uh, Brady Quinn uh, you know, ends up playing and does well, I think Brady Quinn's a decent quarterback. Um, you know, But if he ever does well, this, this would be a nice investment. I got it for 12 bucks. It's a rookie auto um, on card from National Treasures Jumbo Patch. Numbered 51 of 99, so it's a nice looking card. Didn't have a Brady Quinn autograph. You know, he had a great college career at Notre Dame, so if he doesn't do anything in the, in the NFL, I got it for 12 bucks. You know, he had a good college career, so, but you never know. He could, you know, they could give him a chance in Denver, so. Uh, next, I got this whole lot of uh, stuff from this year's tops, all from one seller, combined shipping. Um, got Adam Lind autograph, Golden Moments. Trevor Cahill, who had an excellent year last year. I actually got two Marlin Birds. Yeah, there's one. And two. Um, I got Chris Sale, who will probably be in the starting rotation for the South Siders this year. And got these for like a buck a piece. With the free shipping, obviously, Jared Weaver game used. Jonathan Lucroy. And Hanley Ramirez uh, with the pinstripe. So, got that really cheap, that whole lot. So, uh, next, bought some autographs over on sportscollectors.net. Um, got these three autographs of Tim Wheeler, who's the fourth rated prospect in the Rockies organization. Um, had a terrific year last year. I think he hit over 300 or close to it. And he also um, jacked out 33 bombs in double A, I think, for the Rockies. Then I got the third overall prospect in their organization, Willen Rosario, who is a catching prospect. Very nice. Um, got this Michael Turner patch, two color, from uh, Gold Standard. Might upgrade. It's kind of a boring patch, two color, like I said. Um, it's number 13 of 25. And the seller had free additional shipping and any other additional purchases. And I got this Jed Lowry um, Allen & Ginter jersey for like 99 cents. So, pick that up. Um, two additions to the 1990 score autograph set. First one, I like this one. This is former Cubby, um, Glenn Allen Hill. Very nice. Rookie auto. And this one, um, I usually put stuff in newer cases with, uh, for the video, but I had to show this yellowed up case. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it is yellow. There's a good chance that the original owner pissed on this. Um, it doesn't smell, but uh, I don't even know if you can see the autograph. It's Roy Smith, former uh, Twins pitcher. So, got two additions to the 1990s score set. 
Um, TTMs. First off, um, former uh, Saints quarterback, Bobby Bear. No R, which I find fascinating. You know, it's Herbert, H-E-R-B-E-R-T. A bear, H-E-B-E-R-T. It's a fun name to pronounce. Um, but anyway, uh, it's a little Seinfeld reference for you guys that are confused what the heck I'm talking about. Um, so nice return there from Bobby A bear. It is a fun name to pronounce though. Unfortunately, the coolest card in there got a little, a little uh, smudged. <clears throat> Bobby Bonilla uh, signed three cards for me. One, a two, and three Funky Diabetic. I'm sure you already have that, but if you don't, let me know. <clears throat> Next, Dave Rosma, uh, former Tigers pitcher, signed four cards. Um, 1981 Tops, uh, 1981 Fleer, 83 Tops. Look at those stands. At Tiger Stadium. It's packed. Packed stadium right there when Dave Rosen was on the mound. And a 1982 Tops. And he did sign the two protective index cards, which was a nice little extra. Um, nice return. This came today from Ken Frayling, who was a former Cubby back in the 70s. Signed a 1975 Tops card, which is one of my favorite sets of all time. Love the nostalgic look of it. And he signed two index cards. Very nice looking legible signature. Signed two. Um, and then you can't send this note. It says, Phil, I'm so sorry that your cards didn't get back to you in a timely manner. I just found your letter under some papers on my desk. Please find an autographed picture for your collection. Best wishes always, Ken Frailing. So a really nice uh, note there. Uh, it didn't take that long. It took like a month and a half. Uh, but it's a nice looking photo. Um, Wrigley Field back in the 70s, I'm assuming. Personalized. Very nice addition, so nice, nice extra. Um, let me make sure this sucker's still going. Oh yeah, we're got about two and a half minutes left, so. Um, TTM's friends, Fred Stanley, um, play with a, quite a few teams, namely the Yankees. He's a shortstop, signed this um, Sweet Spot Classics and 82 tops, uh, 1981 tops. And a 1983 tops. Uh, I got this one today as well. Sean Estes um, was nice enough to sign five cards for me. I told him to keep a couple if anybody, you know, if um, other collectors needed them, but he signed all five. So, uh, 19, or 2003 tops. A 2003 Upper Deck 40 Man. Got a Bowman Heritage. I should probably hurry up. Fleer Tradition. Like, I'm stuttering now. And a Collector's Choice. Star Quest. Um, next, I had a blind trade. There's the Motown Cacti. Um, with a collector on sportscollectors.net. Uh, I sent him 25 baseball autographs. He sent me 25 basketball autographs. So it's kind of cool to get some basketball. There's a lot of doubles I already had, but no biggie. Um, already put these in alphabetical order, as you can see. <laughs> BJ Armstrong. Winston Bennett. I think I needed that one. Larry Brown, signed in pen, a little bit difficult to see there, but Hall of Fame coach. Mo Cheeks, signed in red, but no biggie. Dave Corzine, needed a Dave Corzine. Brad Doherty, who's doing NASCAR uh, stuff now. <laughs> got Brad Davis, got Walter Davis, and I got another Walter Davis, that one's in pen. He did send one extra, so I guess if a couple are in pen, it's no big deal. Current uh, King King King's coach, Vinny Del Negro, former Bulls coach. Uh, Mark Eaton, definitely need a Mark Eaton. Nice crotch shot. Doug Edwards, uh, Kendall Gill, Tim Hardaway, Steve Kerr, John Konkak, needed one of those. Rodney McCray, Jim McElvain, needed that. Got Paul Pressey times two. Ron Rothstein, I admit, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I know most people, but don't know who Ron Rothstein is. Danny Shays, son of Dolph. LaSalle Thompson, no relation to me, I'm white. Kenny Skywalker, Bill Wennington, wish that was in a Bulls uniform, be sweet. And Hall of Fame coach Lenny Wilkins. So, nice little mail day. Like I said, I have nothing coming in next week, though. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure I'll buy something. 
I always do. So uh, that is all I got for now, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, please stay safe.